Hi, I'm Azamea French, Creative Director for By Rido Makeup, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really fab 70s inspired eye and lip combo look using a mix of some of the palettes, colour sticks, and of course the lipsticks. So I'm going to kick off with the eyes and I'm going to be working with the Siren palette and I'm going to be taking this very beautiful kind of silvery creamy colour in the corner here and I'm going to be applying it to the inner corner of Ikram's eyes. So we pop some false lashes on Ikram so that when we put the mascara on it'll just have that extra little bit of impact. So next I'm going to use my finger with the green colour in the centre of this palette, close eyes darling, and I'm just going to wash it over her lids like this. And I like to use my fingers sometimes just because your fingers have a little bit of moisture on them and it just really allows you to kind of grip the pigment. And now I'm going to take that green colour and just go under the eyes like that to create a little bit of lightness. The 70s was an amazing creative time for makeup. It was all about really big gestures, colourful lips, colourful eyes, big eyelashes, lots of mascara. So next I'm going to be working with the Prismic palette and I'm going to be using this lovely intense matte green and that's going to just be applied on the outer corners of Ikram's eyes like that. And I'm just going to drag it across really softly into her eye socket. So once you've applied that you can take a clean brush and just blend that out. And now I'm going to go back to the Prismic palette and I'm going to be taking that green mixed with a little bit of that darker green and I'm going to be working underneath her eye like this. And now to finish off that eyeshadow I'm just going to use a little bit of this lovely soft gold and I'm just going to go into the brow bone like that. And just blend it out into the rest of the green. And before I work on the lips, I'm going to take a little bit of that colour and just pop it into her cupid's bow like that. And I'm going to add a little bit into her cheekbone just to have that extra bit of kind of lovely highlight that looks really great, especially when you have the gold in the eye and you bring it into the cheek. Colour is a really great starting point if you want to be a bit more experimental with your makeup. I would suggest if you're used to wearing browns and taupes and quite natural shades, you could switch to something a bit more metallic. So instead of a brown, perhaps you could use a copper. Instead of a kind of a light taupey colour, you could try a gold. And that will keep it within the natural tonal range, but it'll add that little bit of extra shimmer or sparkle and kind of give your makeup a little bit of a kick. So now I'm going to use one of my favourite products. This eyeliner really transforms, so you can wear it in two different ways. You can apply it and just leave it as a matte, or once it's dried, you can go in and blend it out and it will literally explode with glitter. It's the perfect way to kind of blend your eyeliner and your eyeshadow together really, really easily. So I'm gonna just line the eyes, just flicking up a little bit at the corners. So the eyeliner is a great example actually of the way design allows you to apply the makeup really well. It's got a very long tip and that allows you to create a much kind of straighter and sharper line. When the head of an eyeliner is really small you can get quite a wobbly line but when you have a really long one it's a much smoother application process. So while we just wait for that eyeliner to dry properly I'm going to use a little bit of sick pink colour stick in her cheeks. I'm just gonna Pop it in like this and then blend it out with my fingers really softly and that just adds a really nice touch of slightly pink iridescent colour. So now to activate that eyeliner. All you need to do is go in with your finger or a brush and you basically just brush in to the eyeliner and you'll see that it starts to transform into a much more glittery effect. And that's really handy because it kind of does a lot of the work for you. So now for the mascara, I'm going to be using the Space Black Mascara. I'm going to begin by building up the product on Ikram's lower eyelashes. I'm going to work on these first so that I can just build it up and do a couple of layers to make them really, really thick. 
And now I'm just gonna pop some on her top lashes. And this is a great product because the ones purposefully very small so that you can really get into the base of the lashes and uh, it kind of gives you a little bit of extra room to just really coat the lashes fully from the base all the way to the tip. I ever get asked what the future of beauty looks like and I think our ideals of beauty are always changing. They've changed throughout history and they're often shaped and defined by the cosmetics industries, by celebrities, wealth, ideas of fertility. I think in relation to cosmetics, they will become more performative, there'll be a much kind of closer link between technology and cosmetics and who knows what else. So now to complete the look, I'm going to use a really beautiful shade called Red and Blue, which is one of the three shades of red in the collection and it has hints of blue so it's that real true red and I'm going to just apply it really nicely onto the crown's lips like this. This is a really lovely lipstick. It's from the Satin family and it has really high coverage and is very moisturising and highly pigmented. So what I love about the 70s was their real confident way of using bold and colourful eye makeup. So my interpretation of that was to go for a really strong green with our goal to bring out all of those highlights in her eyes and cheekbones and then pair it with a very Jerry Hall-esque red lip. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.